Let's see. How's this for a scenario? You're playing your banjo. You want to slip on a capo. Say it in a second fret. Then you want to retune that fifth string up to a A. Because you're playing on the second fret. All of a sudden, boom! Your string pops. That's, a, that's pretty bad, because then you got to you know, find another string or get another set of strings to redo it, you know? How about a capo? Here's a good, cheap capo you can use. And I'm not the pioneer of this on any stretch of the means. I found this on YouTube myself when I was learning how to play. Because I kept having that same problem. I kept breaking a string. Now I got, I don't know if you can see this on that camera, I got these little railroad spike nails that I use on it. And I wish I never would have put them in there. So if you're going to use the railroad spike nails, let somebody do it that really knows what they're doing. Uh, I did it, and you can tell. <laughs> um, just, just learn from my my doings, pretty much. <laughs> my wrong doings. But this here is a good, cheap way of coming up with a capo for your fifth string. You can slide it up and down to pitch. Now, granted, when you get up high enough, it's not keeping a whole great deal of tension that the sound starts becoming choked and pinched after a while because you do get up high enough to where that string's not holding down a good tension on that pin cap. So about the, I say about the seventh on up to about the eighth fret is a sweet spot for them. Maybe down to the sixth fret too. Stuff like that. I mean, it's just a good thing to tee around with. I mean, and find out. How do you make these? They're pretty simple to make. Um, I made mine. I just made it. I just cut a little groove for the fifth string to set in. Try to get it up to the camera so you can see it. Um, for it to sit in, you just take a normal little pin cap. That's one that's untouched. I'm not going to cut this one. Because um, I've already cut and made stuff out of that one. I don't want to mess up another one. So what you do, what I did, make that simple. Slide it into your fifth string. Just underneath your fifth string. Now, it's gonna, it's probably going to poke through. Most pin caps probably going to poke through down to the bottom of that third string. You don't want to leave that length on there. You want to cut it. Because it'll start messing with the, the uh, tones and the sounds from the fourth and third string. So you want to get rid of that. So what I did is I took... Uh, a little engraving tool that I had, I did have. Uh, what did I do with that? Damn it! Here it is, my railroad spike. This is the one I put in my banjo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now the one I had was a little bit smaller, but let I me mean, just use this for an example. I just went in between the fifth and the third, the fourth string, as I made a marking. That was where I was going to cut the length of the capo itself. The part that's going to go underneath the fifth string. For the groove for the string, you make another mark right where that fifth string is going to set. All right, so after you get your markings, you cut. You can use a pair of wire cutters, or you can use a pair of scissors if they're sharp enough, or you can even use uh, a knife. You can cut it with a knife. No matter. I mean, this ain't really hard plastic, and you just cut wherever your markings are. Now, when you get to the marking for the fifth string notch, you obviously don't want to cut all the way through, so you just open your wire cutters, your scissors, or your knife, and cut your groove that you want for your string in to the plastic. You see what I got there? Nice little notch for it to set. So to in turn, when you get that done, you now have a fifth string capo that you could use to save up enough money to get you a good capo. <laughs> they had those, actually, they had those little rail slide capos. I guess, uh, if I remember correctly, I go from the fifth on up to the twelfth fret and they slide up and down. And then you, when you get to the, the spot you want, you just twist it down and it pushes up on the string. Much like that does. Um, but musician's budget ain't a low budget, it's a broke budget. So that's just a good little nifty little DIY idea. And Kim and I got her on tape just tripping. Kim be tripping. <laughs> so anyway, 
make you one of them. It's not a neat little idea. And, and they're all over YouTube, you know, the pink cap capos. You can make you one. They're really easy. It takes a couple of minutes to make it. That's it. A pair of scissors and a pen cap is really all you need. And you have a pen. I had one on here before. I had it tied with a piece of yarn on the bottom of my fist string thing. And um, where it wouldn't fall off. And you can take these, the ends of these, and cut them off to where it's a little bit shorter. You ain't got to have it that long. Uh, yeah. So, and then when you get done with that. You'll be putting on a capo to where you don't have to wind up that string to retune it. See how that works? Alright, I shall see y'all later. And oh, uh, series four. I haven't come up with any dates to where I'm going to start off the porch picking series again. Uh, it's going to be sometime in March, I think. Um, my vacation's in late February. Uh, last week of February actually and uh, so I might do the porch picking series we end back probably second week in March I'm thinking so until series four I love y'all goodbye keep playing guys